We'll start our discussion on switching algebra. So in regular algebra, we know that we can add numbers and we can also divide numbers. This, uh, this is regular decimal system and the regular algebra. However, in switching algebra, we actually only have 1 and 0 and the operation, the simple addition and multiplication has different meanings. So this is what we're going to discuss. The first step is I will introduce three different operations. So the first operation is OR. So OR operation is simply a, like an addition operation A or B. So we call this A or B. And the operation is the result is 1 if and only if this will use it a lot so we use an abbreviation for that IFF it's like if but if and only if A is equal to 1 or B is equal to 1 or both so what that means when we have A and B as long as one of the inputs are 1 the output is going to be 1 so we use truth tables to explain how this operation works so when I say truth table again we'll put the input combinations and the output as a result we have only two inputs so we will only have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so our condition again is as long as one of the inputs are 1 the output is going to be 1 so here 0 0 that means it's going to be 0 none of the outputs are inputs are 1 here it's going to be 1 1 and 1 since in each case one of the inputs or both are 1 and we have a circuit symbol for this operation something like this so these are your inputs a and B and this is your output A or B and we call this an OR gate so we talked about OR gate and now we're gonna talk about AND gate The operation is, the idea is similar, but the conditions are going to be different. So A or B, A and B, sorry. So this is A and B. So AB will only be 1. if and only if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 so both of the inputs have to be 1 in order for the output to generate a 1 I'm gonna put the same table here 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 
So both inputs have to be 1 in order to get a 1. And that is, this is the only combination for that. So this is going to be 1. And the rest of the input, the outputs, will be 0. The circuit symbol for this AND gate is given like this. So this is an AND gate. There is one more gate that has only one input. That is called a NOT gate. And as the name suggests, the operation is let's say we have only one input and the NOT gate is shown with a prime here it basically just takes the NOT of the input so whatever the input is the output is going to be the other side and the symbol this is a NOT gate is a rectangle, the, the triangle with a circle at the end. This is called a NOT gate. Another definition for this is inverter. We also call it inverter because it inverts the input.